for temperatures or at least sunshine and unfortunately I'm gonna have to wait a few days this evening. While it is cloudy, there's no precipitation. I go with a Ranby Factor 5, call it tolerable for being and working outside. That's about as good as we've had for the Ranby Factor for a while. All quiet, super Doppler Pacific radar, no precipitation. We are likely to stay dry for the night. Here's a look at I-80. Uh, this is from the Embassy Suites, La Vista. Pretty good volume of traffic, cloudy skies. Current temperature 31, breeze very light southeast. 5 miles per hour. Temperatures held in the upper 20s for Harlan, Atlantic, Creston, but made the low 30s in Omaha. We're at 31 right now, 33 in Lincoln, Beatrice, Columbus is 34 degrees. There is that very light southeast breeze. Now earlier today, skies cleared in central Nebraska and the clearing was working eastward, but now with a light southeast breeze and nighttime settling in, I don't think the low clouds will make any more progress, so we stay cloudy. 930, uh, 3, 4 in the morning, cloudy. Tomorrow morning, cloudy for the morning drive. Tomorrow afternoon, cloudy. Maybe a few snow showers or sprinkles go by north of us late day tomorrow, tomorrow evening. And then it looks like a little more of that overnight tomorrow night. So this is not a huge deal, but possibly a couple tenths of an inch in spots. Here's the RPM computer model. Actually has a few flurries tonight, which seems a little unlikely, but there's tomorrow night tenth or two tenths of an inch of possibility from some of that Thursday night, early Friday morning. There's the cloud cover today. No big disturbances, so nothing to really chase the low clouds out of here. There was some light snow today in St. Louis. That's part of the same system that gave us our light snow. Here's the European computer model. Doesn't have much uh, through Friday, but it does bring a system in here Monday night and Tuesday with a swath of light snows for parts of southeast Nebraska, central portions of Iowa, so that's something to watch early next week as a big cold front drops through after the quite warm weekend that's on the way. Storm predictor, high pressure into Iowa. Sky is mainly cloudy here. Winds light out of the southeast tomorrow morning. Still kind of cloudy around here. Here comes this disturbance from the north, which could bring a little snow, especially north of here tomorrow night, but maybe a trace amount or a couple tenths of an inch for some of the viewing area. And then here's Friday, that warm front pushes by. We start to get a west-northwest breeze, and there's a chance that at least some of the area gets into sunshine on Friday afternoon. This is the warm front that brings in the Pacific air for the weekend. You probably heard the talk of the 40s and 50s, some people saying 60 degrees this weekend. I don't think it'll get there, but it does look a lot milder for the weekend. 27, the low tonight, cloudy, cool. Some areas get some fog, and some of that fog left over at 7 a.m. Temperature is just a notch above tomorrow where they were today. 32 at noontime and 35 degrees late in the day for the high temperature. 36 on Friday, holding out hope that we get some peaks of sunshine, but more sun and in the 40s for highs on Saturday. And Sunday probably makes the 50s. It's Groundhog Day on Sunday. Huge, huge day in the, well, in the community, in the world, in oh. the nation. <laughs>